came up with a huge win on Sunday in Game 1 of the Provincial Championship Series against the Wellington Dukes. Playing in enemy territory against a top-ranked team in the country, the Tigers pulled out the 3-2 victory to not only draw first blood, but also steal home ice advantage away from the Dukes. With Game 2 being played at the Aurora Community Centre on Monday night, the Tigers had a chance to take an early stranglehold in the Best of 7 series. Celebrity watch at the ACC, Casey and Finnegan taking in the game. I love those guys. Good start for the Tigers, Jamie Minchella, boom, just 109 into the hockey game. The Dukes would get that one back before the end of the first. Chris Whitley can't clear the puck and Mark Campbell slides it under the fallen tender. We're all tied up at once. And the Dukes looking for more. But Whitley this time stops Warren Cooper on the breakaway. Big glove save to keep things all square after one. In the second, Dane Davis responds with a big save of his own, but he can't control the rebound and Michella makes him pay as he bangs home his second of the game. Once again, the Dukes manage to tie it up with a power play goal this time. Campbell with his second of the game. It's Michella two, Campbell two, after two. On to the third, and the Tigers get the go-ahead. Sam Squirchuk kicks the puck from a skate onto his stick and chips the backhand over the shoulder of Davis. Great goal by number 22, and that would prove to be the game winner. In the dying seconds now, Squirchuk beats the buzzer, sliding the puck into the empty net for his second of the game. And with that, the Tigers electrify the hometown crowd at the Aurora Community Centre with the 4-2 victory. The Cats now take a 2-0 lead in the best of seven series, putting the Dukes squarely behind the eight ball. Well, I, I think when you play back-to-back, this is what you get a little bit. I mean, I think we were sharper last night, but, you know, again, we survived early, and that's signs of a good team, and, uh, you know, we, we fought hard, and in back-to-back -back games, a lot of will and character pulls games out for you. Tonight's game was another war. We, Wellington came out, you know, they played us hard. We got off to a little bit of a slow start, but, you know, we came back, did what we had to do, got the puck in deep, put the pressure on him, got the puck to the net, and came out on top. We played well. We came out hard in the first, and, uh, just took it to them and uh, capitalized on our chances. We just worked hard and never give up. You know, Wellington's a fast, hard-working team, and uh, we have to match that for a full 60 minutes, and uh, we did that tonight. I was satisfied with it. I was a little bit more concerned with my defensive play. If, as long as I didn't get scored on, that's, that's the main thing. Goals will come eventually, and uh, they came tonight. The Tigers now have the Dukes on the ropes, and they can all but wrap. The Aurora Tigers headed back up to Wellington on Wednesday night for Game 3 of the Provincial Championship Series against the Dukes, looking to take a commanding 3-0 lead in the best of seven. And the Duke Dome was rocking with a capacity crowd on hand. Wellington gets the quick jump in the game on the power play. Just five minutes in, C.J. Thompson bangs home the Ryan Woodward rebound. 1-0 for the Daisy Dukes. Looking for more, Jordan Freeland fakes out everybody with the shot, but he can't finish the play. The shot goes just wide. Way down at the other end, Dane Davis stops Goheen, and then Steve Vignardi takes his man down in the corner, and he makes sure he stays down. Still in the first, the Cats get a power play goal of their own. Kyle Aitken pinches in from the point, and he picks the corner. 1-1 after 20 minutes. On to the second, and this series is getting physical. The scramble in front of the net turns into a rugby scrum. No punches thrown, but this game was intensity in 10 cities. The Tigers manage to break on top. Jordan Brenner sets up office behind the net and finds Sam Skorchuk in the slot. Sammy makes no mistake, and he lets the crowd know about it. Scary moment now for the Tigers. Chris Whitley gets run over by Warren Cooper. He was able to continue, but more bad news was on the way for number 31. Third period now when the Dukes continue to crash the net. Woodward with a slash to the side of Whitley right there. But that's not the bad news. Here's the bad news. Mike Konechny scores to tie the game up at two. And after the play, Whitley would shoot the puck over the glass into the crowd. And that, my friends, carries an automatic five-game suspension. Ouch. The Tigers managed to rally. Jamie Menchella beats Davies through the wickets. And the Tabbies were looking good with the 3-2 lead. However, with just 127 left on the clock, Woodward tips home the shot from the point. And the captain sends the game into overtime. 
and in the extra frame, the winning goal was far from pretty. Cooper with the gift goal, a malfunction at the junction for the Tigers. And with that, the Dukes get right back in the series with a 4-3 victory. I managed to catch up with Marty Williamson today at his home in Keswick, and here's what he had to say about Game 3. A tough loss in a lot of different ways. Disappointing, you know, to have a, a game that means so much and to be so poorly refed. And, uh, you know, by all accounts, and I've got phone calls from the league for apologizing and that kind of stuff, but it doesn't do me a lot of good right now. An unfortunate situation with Chris Whitley. Uh, just comment on that situation and his status. Yeah, I, I didn't see it. Apparently he flipped the puck over the glass at the uh, after their second goal, and it's an automatic five-game suspension, so he's gone. Um, one of my defensemen said it went off their stick. Uh, the referee said he didn't see it. Now apparently he has seen it, and, uh, you know, again, there's a ton of inconsistencies, but, um, you know, the league has told me they got to go by what the ref says, and, uh, you know, that's the, that's the break we get right now. we got to move on. And the Tigers and Dukes are right back at it tonight at the ACC. The puck drop. The puck drops at 7.30 p.m. Days at the ACC on Thursday with the Tigers looking to rebound from an overtime loss at the Duke Dome. Chris Whitley suspended for five games, so Lance King gets the start at the Tiger Den. The Dukes break on top midway through the first. Ron Cord scores, and by the way, Cords are much more comfortable than slacks. With the score 2-0 Wellington, Jordan Freeland beats King upstairs. 3-0 for the Mighty Dukes after one period. In the second, the shot from the point hits the crossbar and stays out, but Creston Kibble puts his hand on the puck in the crease. That's a penalty shot. Scorechuck makes no mistake. That's one goal for the Tigers. The teams would trade goals to make it 4-2, and Jordan Brenner looks to make it a one-goal game, but the referee says no goal. Upon further review, Brenner's shot beats Dane Davis, but as you can see, it hits the pipe and stays out. Stay off the pipe. No doubt about this one on the power play in the third period. Jamie Menchella finishes off the tic-tac-toe passing play. And that goal makes it 4-3. to Menchella would score another to tie things up, but Ryan Woodward puts an end to the Tiger comeback as he drills one into the top corner. 5-4 for Wellington. Moments later, King makes a kick save, but he then falls over in a heap. King would have to leave the game, and the Tigers are calling it a lower body injury. Georgina Ice goalie Sean Atkinson came in and played well, but the Tigers lose 5-4. The Dukes tie up the series at two games apiece, and in the process, they regain home ice advantage. We skated well, we did some good things. I think we ran out of a little bit of a gas at the end. And, uh, you know, we just got it's 2-2. We knew it was going to be a tough series. It's always tough to win the, win the first two and then lose the next two. But we knew it was going to be back and forth. And uh, it's a 2 out of 3 now. We worked hard, hard working game. Can't make any excuses. We didn't think it was going to be a quick series. We knew it was going to be a long series. So just got to fight hard. Next person to two wins.